Hello, this is Nindy Kerr from Nindy's Creative Corner. Today I will show you how to make this cute little punch art bunny with using punches and an oval framelit. Cut one, uh, I should say punch one, two and a half inch whisper white circle, one and a half inch circle for its little tail, two large ovals, one word window, and one of the smallest framelits. Okay, let's get started and I'll try to duplicate this bunny. Okay, I just stuck this in and tried to narrow him down a bit. I'm going to try to narrow him down more than I did last time. And it doesn't matter if he's pointy on one end, because that'll be covered up by his head. But we really don't want him pointy on the bottom. Well, which ones? Okay. You anyway, just pick a side you want for the bottom. And kind of flatten it out. Okay, there's his body. For his head, You'll notice inside the punches there's a layer where the paper goes through. You just stick it in and this time we're going to try to angle the head. Let me see, we want it angled this way. There we go. And kind of I guess I've got my paper snips. Okay, and we'll just take and round this off with our paper snips. And same with here. Okay, there now, there's his little head. Here's his tail. make an ear. Use the oval punch again and stick it in between and there we go. Try to do it to the middle. Now we'll slide it in the up on the top side. Okay, this isn't quite as pointy as the other one. Maybe we'll just trim it. Maybe that's what I did. Okay, there. There's his little ear. For his feet, well, for his foot, I cut it in half. Cut the large oval in half. And then do like we did with the bunny ear and just trim it down. Okay, and for the arms, I just used the word window punch. This time I think I'm going to make his arm a little bit longer. For this one, I just folded it in half. And word window punch again. All else fails, stick it in the other way and then fold it up. There we go. 
Now find the end. See, there's the end. Stick it barely back in. And then punch again. And where'd the other one go? Oh, here it is. We'll use the short one in the back. And the longer one in the front. There we've got our bunny basically cut out. So, since it was all white and needed a little definition, I used some Smoky Slate. Smoky Slate ink pad. And a sponge. And just sponged around all the edges. Oops. Do the small ones first because they're the hardest in my opinion. Okay, now we have all of our bunny sponged, and let's start hooking it together. I cheated on the first one. I think I'll cheat on this one, too. Just use a little glue dot for the head. Stand the bunny body up straight. Put the head in about the position you want. Hook it on. Just make sure you get the glue dot where the, okay, now we'll do the little short hand. And you want it on the front side because this will be going behind the bunny. So make sure your sponging's on the front. This one will go on the back, and I did put it on both ends. You can also use Tombow glue. Okay, there. Now we'll just need to finish off our little bunny. Didn't have any more black scraps, so this bunny is going to have a blue eye. Oh, guess there are more in there than I thought. Hopefully, I can find my blue. Nope, don't see the blue. Ah, here's the blue. Blue, it was still in there. Okay. Little eye. This one, I drew the face before the head was put on. I decided next time I will do it when the face is already on. There's this little nose. Okay, choose any marker you want for the nose, but I used Blushing Bride. And then use Basic Black for the little mouth. And of course, the little bunny whiskers. <clears throat> so there you have it, your bunny is all finished. Okay, let's work on our card now. The card base is Cut it five and a half by eight and a half. Fold it at four and a quarter. Although if you don't have a, if you're, or if you're not in the mood to score, just use your bone folder. And perfect. Okay, we'll do our grass first. Now I tried to leave about, well this is a little less than a quarter of an inch. 
But line your, put your tips right where you want the cut to end. And we're going to go in a little bit. Cut. Because it does cut a little bit deeper than the tips. Leave us a little space of cardstock. Cut again. We'll just cut the entire way. Okay, there's our grass. Let's see what we can do about this little part right here. Oh, it just got kind of crumpled. That's okay. Grass gets crumpled fairly easily when you walk on it. I will attach it with Tombow glue. And you just need a small little line. If you use any more than this, it will smear out and get messy. So I'll line it up right along the bottom edge. I usually use my fingernail to line it up and then press down. Oh, yes, I did just glue that down. And we'll position him where we want him. Maybe we'll put him further down this time. Okay, I noticed after I finished him off that I didn't do his little hands. We'll put the little pads down here in the Blushing Bride, same as the um, nose. And give him some little fingers. Okay, for our sun, I thought I would, I originally used this, this is the third one in of the Starburst, so it's the very middle one, and I lined it up, glued on this part, and trimmed off the rest. I thought I would try this and see if a little sun would be better. We'll just set it there until after I've done the flowers. So I use the Boho Blossoms Punch. Take the, your bone folder and just curl the little ends. I'm sure, that, well, this, these flowers look different, so I must have... Okay. I know, I did two of this little round one. Now since we have less sun, maybe we'll see how this looks. No, I think I'll do the same as I did. and Punch another one of these little flowers. And I'll use glue dots. Okay, I chose garden green. And just kind of tuck the tip up there and make the stem and make sure it goes under the grass a little bit. Cover it up here. Poke it underneath a little. And we need some leaves. Okay, get the leaves a little bit different, but that's about normal. And for the centers, I chose candy dots. 
I think we'll use a little darker ones this time. I used the ones up here this last time. Okay, so I think I will just use this little sun. Let me just glue it on. There we go. So here's two versions of the card. Hope you have fun making a bunny of your own. I think they both turned out cute. Anyway, happy punching!